What's up, YouTube? I'm going to be investing 20k in these 10 stocks, so you're not going to want to miss this. Hit smash that like and subscribe button, and I'm going to be making videos on the progress. I'm going to be showing you how I pick these stocks, and I'm going to be revealing my portfolio. Okay, so these are the 10 stocks. I've added them to my watch list. So I have set up a new long-term eToro account. It's called End of Trading. I'll leave the link in the description so you can follow me. And I'm going to be investing in at least 10 stocks and some ETFs, like the NASDAQ 100. And I'm going to be scaling this account up slowly and using dollar cost averaging as in the stock market is very unpredictable at the moment. So I'm going to be taking it slowly. So 20K over the next 12 or 24 months. Okay. So the 10 stocks I'm going to be adding to my portfolio are Activision, which make Call of Duty, Citigroup, Colgate, Delta Airlines, General Motors, PayPal, Plug Power, QSR, and this is a brand that runs lots of the franchises like Burger King, uh, Visa, and then I have another company, but Etoro hasn't added it yet, which is called ZIX Corporation, and it's a new emerging IT company, but I'm hoping that Etoro will add that to their system soon, as they're all, always adding new stocks. But I'm going to go through this now. I'm just going to show you how... I selected these stocks and different different risk scores, etc. So each stock has a different risk to balance out the portfolio. And I have set them from low risk to medium risk to high risk. Okay, so I have the expectation that high risk stocks like plug power here will give me more return, but a safer investment like Colgate here will be a, a, a slower growth stock, okay, a staple, It'll be like an anchor for the portfolio, okay, so also in this portfolio, I have diversified in different industries, as you can see here, I have General Motors, I obviously make vehicles, etc., PayPal, and you have Visa, which is always a good stock, if you look at the charts, it's always rising, and rising and over the years, Delta Airlines, so air travel etc and lots of just diversification there which is really important then you have the food industry here and also i i have anchors for the big money that big money is backing okay so big money are backing some of these stocks like paypal activision colgate so the big hedge funds are backing these companies and these will be more low risk because in the time when problems come in the stock market, these hedge funds usually don't sell as fast as retail investors and they hold the stock and they buy more of the stock when it drops, okay? So I'm gonna just show you here some of the risk score I have made out and I've made out this risk score from working with my mentor who's a successful experienced trader, okay? And I've worked out with him on how these stocks are marked on the risk score and he actually on his trading platform it actually does it automatically but i'm going to be also showing you how i evaluate these investments and how i'm going to research them etc and i'll show you that in a minute but um so so activision i have medium risk on this one so citigroup medium risk colgate is low risk it's a consumer staple I have Delta Airlines as a medium risk, General Motors low risk, PayPal low risk, Plug Power as it's emerging market, it's gonna be high risk, but high return hopefully. Restaurant Brands International low risk, Visa low risk, and then Six Corporation is gonna be a high risk. I put it as medium risk to high risk, but I put that, change that later to high risk. And this is not being added to Etoro yet, but I hope and it will be in the future. So I'm using these. I have diversified, okay, and I'm using Yahoo Finance to search these companies, okay. And I'm going to go through that first, but I'll just show you how I diversified with different stocks here. So I have Activision, it's a growth stock. Um, Citigroup is going to be dividend stock, and Colgate is a consumer staple, everyone knows it. Plug Power is emerging market. Uh, six Corporation, emerging markets. So these are emerging markets with, with potential of higher gains. 
And then I have these companies here, visas, anchors to the portfolio, PayPal holdings, these will be the anchors. So I'm going to be putting a lot more of the portfolio percentage into these companies. These are going to be anchors that are backed by hedge funds. They're not going anywhere. They're companies that have been around for 10, 20, 30 years longer. And they, they are here. They're going to be act as my anchor to the portfolio. So what am I, why am I looking at these stocks? I'm looking for stocks that are backed by big money or hedge funds. Okay, so as I said, big money or hedge funds that don't sell as quickly as retail investors. So retail investors like me and you on eToro. And people are paying these guys big money, millions to manage their funds. Okay, there's big money in these in these uh, hedge funds and I'm gonna be using what they are investing in and their knowledge and all of the skills and all of the tools they have, okay? So I'd be using Yahoo Finance to search for high percentage held by institutions, okay? So I'd be looking at Yahoo Finance. So you just come to Yahoo Finance. I'll start with the first stock. It's it's called Activision. And then you just come in here at Yahoo Finance and you type it in there and you come down here, it shows you held by institutions. So this is held by hedge funds or big money, okay? So 88% is held by uh, hedge funds, okay? So that is a massive, so that is a massive anchor. So I'm going with the hedge funds, so that's why I'm picking this stock, okay? So 88% of held by institutions, so that's big money, a lot of big money invested in Activision. Next, I go to, I, I also look for companies that have great cash flow to invest in the development, um, or individuals in the company, or dividends for the company, okay? Meaning the company is in profit by looking at their leveraged cash flow. Okay, so I'm looking at the leverage cash flow and you come down here on the same page down here in the bottom, you can see cash flow statement. Okay, and you can see here leverage cash flow. So this company has 2.775 billion in cash flow after the pay off their debt. Okay, so they have lots of money for development or to pay dividends, etc. So it's in a good shape. Okay, so also I'll be looking at their financials. Okay. So I'm going to be looking at the revenue and their earning per share. Okay, so their total revenue here, 7.5 million, okay, total revenue. So you can see there it was a great year in 2020. It's been growing since, so it's growing, growing, great year last year. And in 2018, it was 7.5 7 and then 6.5. Okay, so it's been growing, growing, growing. Okay. And then next, I look at their earning per share. Okay, so I can see there in 2018, it was 2.3 Dropped a little bit in, in 2019, 1.96. But in 2020, it's 2.85. So really good growth there with earning per share. And that's how I'm looking at the stocks, guys. And I'm going to go with the hedge funds. And also, I'm going to be using like the NASDAQ 100 as an anchor. Okay, so we're putting a lot of money in that to diversify the portfolio. Okay, so that's that's my plan. I'm going to be making videos on all of these stocks when I invest. I'm going to start next Monday and invest it in my fourth stock. So make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.